to all our viewers. We are welcoming you back to an update that we have for Clash of Minds. But before we start, let's open with a word of prayer. Let's do that, Martin. Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you firstly that we can be here once again. We thank you for health, for um, support and everything that you do for us. And that despite everything that happens in the world, you are still in control. Thank you for that. Bless this, uh, this uh, discussion now. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, Walter. Hi, Martin. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. And it seems like you're doing also very well. Hmm? I'm back on my feet, yes. Really? Well, not. I'm actually sitting. <laughs> <laughs> now, so we've, you know that we've been, the world was flooded with messages of you being very sick and in hospital, in ICU, lung infections and all. Can you give us an update? Well, I'm back, so that's very uh, good news. Yes, we went through a very bad patch there. I don't know exactly how it happened. One day I was fine. The next day, everything broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we were on our ways to go and get visas when uh, all of a sudden something went seriously wrong. Mm -hmm. And from one day to the next, I got quite sick. And I did spend time in hospital, in and out, a total of 17 days. And I was three days in ICU. But uh, th the problem has been resolved. There were infections with antibiotic-resistant strains. And, uh, and it took a little bit of an intervention here and an intervention there. But here I am. Yeah, yeah. And by God's grace, uh, I'm back on my feet. I lost 15 kilograms in weight. But I've regained four. Well. But I don't want to regain 15 <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a good thing. So, well, yes. Maybe we can take this opportunity to thank all the viewers and everybody that for their prayers and Absolutely. I mean, the response was overwhelming. There was a lot of information. A lot of it was a little bit behind the time, and some of it was not correct. But be that as it may, I want to thank everyone that uh, was concerned and that prayed for me. And uh, it, it was really a miraculous experience. Now, thinking back on it, it, it wasn't easy, but uh, it served a purpose. And I think it, it helped with many, many things. And uh, I wasn't idle while I was in hospital. In fact, I held evangelistic campaigns <laughs> from morning till night, <laughs> attached to all kinds of equipment. And uh, people wanted to know. And uh, I'll tell the story, but I think maybe... Maybe the Lord wanted me to lie in that ICU. I was longer in there than I should have been. I could have come out earlier. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think there was someone that had to be reached. And uh, very interesting stories and very interesting experiences. So it was evangelism of another sort. Uh, not the kind that I would cherish <laughs> or want a repetition of. Yeah. But uh, I'm feeling much, much better. And I think uh, we need to put the shoulder to the wheel. And uh, that was just an interlude. Yeah. Yes. And you? So in the meantime, yeah, no, uh, you were scheduled. We mentioned it in a previous time. So you were scheduled to be in um, Europe, next, Europe month. next month. But, but uh, uh, they advised me I, sh I shouldn't take a trip like that until I am. Uh, fully healed inside, which is still a process, and I shouldn't fly under those circumstances. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, that campaign has been put on ice or has been... Yeah, you, your presence has been. My I, presence I, I, has been will put still on ice. The campaign on. will still continue. But the ones that we've planned for early next year or that are in the pipeline for early next year, they certainly will uh, take place according to schedule. If the Lord permits. If, if the Lord permits. Yes. Yeah, in the meantime, um, there's a lot of things that's been going on here uh, uh, behind the camera yes. that we've had to attend to. Yes. And we'll update 
the viewers on some of these projects? Yes, and there are a lot of questions and people are, are mm. very confused about many things. So let's try and get rid of some of the confusions and then also let us update you as to what the plans are and what is happening. Another thing that's very important to us, we are so grateful to all the viewers that you were so understanding in mm -hmm. terms of the short break that uh, we took in order to deal with all the side issues that were taking place. That's number one. And we also want to thank our, our contributors, our donors, and our helpers. Thank you very much. It is, it is so heartwarming to see how people support us and how the ministry is being furthered by many, many ways of which even we are not aware of. God is absolutely amazing and it's so great to be part of this great end time movement. Mm. May it come to a close soon and may it reach the crescendo of the loud cry and by God's grace let us be part of it. Amen. So let's start off with uh, some confusion. With some of the confusions in the world out there. Right. One of the confusions that uh, is troubling many people is our relationship with Amazing Discoveries. Mm. So the kind of questions that we get are quite numerous and people don't really understand how all this fits in, fits in yeah. and works. When, uh, whenever we get a question or anybody, they don't, they still, like you said, confused and understand, okay, are you part of Amazing Discoveries? What is the situation? Yes, and then also Amazing Discoveries was broadcasting to Africa and then uh, the Africa channel disappeared. I don't know whether it's going to come back or not. I don't know what the status quo is. But this is the type of question that we get. Hello, Clash of Minds. I'm somewhat confused. Are you still part of Amazing Discoveries? And if so, have you changed your position on the identity of the King of the North and your stand on biblical chronology? It seems that there are differences of opinion in the ministry. This is the type of question we get and many, many times. And people are asking us, you know, what is the relationship? Because obviously, Amazing Discoveries is still airing a lot of material the th that uh, emanates from my past association with them. So let's try and answer that so that people understand. Uh, let me also say right from the beginning that we wish Amazing Discoveries well. And we hope that they prosper in their ministry because the more people there are that spread the end time message, the better. Mm -hmm. But as for our position, let's try and answer it. Firstly, we are in no way affiliated with Amazing Discoveries. We are a totally separate ministry and have no influence on the views which they hold or broadcast. So if their views differ from what we have been saying, we have no input regarding that. Mm. And we are, in fact, we have no contact, virtually no contact no. whatsoever. So I used to be associated with, with AD, but since 2021, we have formed a separate ministry called Clash of Minds. This is a totally separate entity. And even though I'm still on the screens yeah your uh, your previous um material and recordings that they did with you in previous years are still aired yes. on, on their channels and, and so. that is fine by us mm. that is fine but current since 2021 actually before that there's been no uh recordings that you did with them or no, no nothing so that everything sort. that we do now is through clash of minds ministry so Amazing Discoveries in North America still distributes my older material. And Amazing Discoveries Germany has permission to translate the What's Up Prof series. Now, people probably don't know that uh, Amazing Discoveries Germany is also a separate ministry. Mm -hmm. It has uh, historic connections, but it is a totally independent, separate ministry. 
So Amazing Discoveries Germany translates the WhatsApp Prof series into German. But uh, many ministries yes. translate our work. I don't know how or many languages. Isn't we've it? got uh, many languages. I mean, under the clash of minds, you will find different um, various language YouTube channels. Yes. Wherein, I th if I'm just quickly thinking, there's Serbian, there's Russian, there's so many, I think 11 or m more probably um, languages. languages that different people translate. Yes. Uh, the WhatsApp Prof series. Our into. policy is we want to get the three angels' messages out into the world. And if a ministry takes the trouble to translate it and to broadcast it, there is nothing that we would want to do to prevent something oh, like that. But in, if it's in English, then that's the prerogative of clash of minds to deal with that. So the episodes in German or other ministries they are going out with our consent, with our That's permission. Yeah. If there is soliciting of funds through those ministries, that is not from us. We don't solicit any funds. No, we don't Never. solicit funds. We rely on the Holy Spirit to impress minds. Exactly. And God has been very gracious. And uh, thank you for your responses to that call. And then, as far as the second part of the question is concerned, we have never changed our position on the King of the North being the papacy, nor have we backtracked on our discussions on chronology, mm. since in our opinion the evidence in the spirit of prophecy is clear enough to support our view. That's it. So if, if other ministries have different views, that has got nothing to do with us. It's not with our input. And they're welcome to have different views so that people can be led to study the issues for themselves and come to their own conclusion. Yeah. Because nobody should be the guru for someone else. People must study for themselves. Yeah. And uh, to give incentives and ideas is part of ministry. That's it. And we made our uh, position clear also in a few episodes of What's yes. Up Prof. When it comes to our view on where we are standing in the stream of time, we've made this view quite clear in episode 8. Is this the end? And then we had a part 2 because it created quite a stir. Yeah. But we haven't changed our position. Yes, and after that episode, we also got a lot of confirmation in that we could put into episode 9. Correct. So that's our view on chronology and where we're standing mm -hmm. in the stream of time. And we haven't changed that view at all. Episode 106, Russia versus Ukraine. We had a lot of discussions on the king of the north versus the king of the south. And it's not, not only in that episode, no, we spoke about the King of the North in many, many episodes. And we have not changed our position that the King of the North, according to our understanding, is the papacy. Correct. Now, Martin, before we carry on with what we are doing and what our plans are, uh, what's up, Prof? It's on the screen here on the behind us. Uh, when are we going to start that up again? Well, we discussed it a little bit and we think uh, it will be interesting. There's a lot of things happening the first week of October. So the Laudato C 2.0 will be coming out. There's a warning message that um, will be broadcast all over the U.S. on phones and TV and all of that. So maybe it's a good time to start our fresh series again. I hope you're not sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, obviously the devil is going to throw a lot of things at us, So, but, but let's plan for then. God willing, we'll start in the first week of October with What's Up Prof again. And then we should be running full steam with all the other projects that we have in mind. Yes, yeah. now, maybe you can tell them a little bit more. Yes, of those. people want to know what are we doing and how do we operate and why are we doing things like we are doing. We have a, we have a philosophy, Martin as you know, that it is of paramount importance to get the message out. Mm -hmm. The three angels' messages must be broadcast like leaves of autumn. Mm. We are aware uh, that there will be opposition. We are aware that there will be censorship. Mm -hmm. 
And that is why we do not want to rely only on the electronic media in terms of uh, the public domains that we use, like YouTube or any one of them, because they might disappear or be... What? Yeah, yeah, taken off the air. Or because they might be taken off the air or something may happen. So it's important that people also have hard copies in their hands. Yes. Yes, we have at our disposal now the electronic means, and it's doing well because it's spreading all over the and world. And we will use it as long as we are able. We will also try and get our own channel. We are also working on getting an internet streaming channel so that we have our own servers involved in, in that. Yeah, But we want to encourage the, peop the people get hard copies download we've got a download server it's yes, for free remember all our downloads are free even all our dvds are free and even our flash drives at this moment are free as long as we can distribute them in that way that's how long we will do it because our intention is to get the message out that's it and also it's important that like-minded people start pulling together, press together, press together, Yes, that we can get this message out. And remember uh, that everybody is part of the team mm. because God is not only using a ministry to get messages out. He wants the people to be involved and to help get it to it. those that really need it because not everybody has access. So how are we trying to get the message out? Let's have a look at some of the ways in which we do this. We have a distribution center in North America. It's the Clash of Minds US and Canada distribution. And the people that are working there for Clash of Minds are Ken and Lana. Mm -hmm. And we are very grateful to them because they are doing a great job. So if you want to find out what Clash of Minds is doing, then please contact the office at Clash of Minds North America. And if you're in North America. So if anybody wants to contact Clash of Minds in North America, then use the contact details on the screen. Here you can see them packing up those boxes and sending them out. For free? For free, yes. Only the postage. And Martin, this is made possible because of the generous donations from our donors. Yeah. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you very much. Then we also have Clash of Minds Europe, where Henry Stauber is our representative. Yeah. Henry is a very enthusiastic person. As you know, he's the one that does these beautiful nature scenes, and uh, he's responsible for the movies like the creation for example and much of our material comes from him you'll remember that we've broadcast quite a number of uh, the things that he has produced mm -hmm. and uh, barbara o'neill for instance yes and uh, he has shot many series for us the series by barbara o'neill for example he's now done one by walt cross he's busy with other speakers so he's a very, very busy man, and uh, your donations also make it possible to keep that work rolling. And Europe is a very, very large district uh, to control, so he needs some help as well. And this is the kind of thing that he does. He grabs a chair, he puts it down in nature, and then there we go. Yeah, and make some nice devotionals. We've Lots of people have seen our shorts and the video that goes out on the devotional for Sabbath. This so is all Henry is doing. And uh, I don't know what I would do without old Henry. No. I, I love his work. He, I think he, he is such a charismatic person. And he always brings in, he started the Adventure Prof, you know. So, yeah, people already know him and we love him. This is a Henry setup in the field. That's a solo setup, him having to record himself and all of this. This is in Iceland. Yeah. We would have been there uh, recording, but 
the Lord, it didn't work out like this. So. No, no, I had to go and evangelize in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we'll see. The Lord probably has some plans still. So, uh, what else do we do? We have Clash of Mind field evangelists. And let us show you what Freddie and Patricia are doing. This is their van that we sponsor. It's got the Clash of Mind sign on it over there. And these people travel into all those areas where no one else would go. Yeah. They travel into the different countries. They will travel to Zimbabwe. They will travel to Zambia. At the moment, they are in Namibia. And they present the three angels' messages in the rural areas, in the heartlands, in the bush, where there is no other way of, of reaching these people. And we really want a whole tribe of people that are willing to go into these areas and spread the message. And uh, the fact that they are willing to do this, huh? to travel and give up all their home comforts and do these things is marvelous. And this is one of the ways in which Clash of Minds is sponsoring evangelism. So Martin, when you think about something like this, uh, we could hold a whole series about how these things come to be. Mm -hmm. How you meet up with people that are willing That's to it. do that. Well, how, how the devil tries to prevent it. How their vehicles are confiscated. Mm -hmm. How they get them back again or, or ones. different mm -hmm. ones that are better suited for the job. The circumstances around these events are just amazing. The stories are phenomenal. Yeah. Of every single one that's connected with Clash of Minds. It you <laughs> have to have your head read to be connected <laughs> to Clash of Minds. <laughs> because every good deed will be punished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been at the brunt of that. <laughs> no matter what you do, there will always be opposition but didn't the spirit of prophecy say there will never come a time mm. when the hellish shadow of satan is not cast toward your path and i want to assure you that even if you're thinking you're going through your darkest hour and i've just been there let's be honest i i really felt this was a very dark hour the the miracles that god does yeah yes. and the outcomes thereof are so amazing you stand over awe. And all of these people have amazing stories. It just looks so romantic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but believe Christ me, does. <laughs> there's a lot of mud involved. <laughs> <laughs> Here they go, traveling through darkest Africa, presenting the three angels' messages. And Freddie has had these things made. Uh, you blow them up. So yeah, that you can cart them around easily. And then he gives seminars on how, you know, uh, the story of Revelation sits and how it comes and together. And how the whole three angels message fit into this Everything. great, great controversy. And it creates such interest. Yeah. And he sets it up in, in supermarkets. He sets it up on planes. He fairs. Sets it, fairs. He sets it up in the heartland of the rural areas next to the chief's house. And uh, the people are overawed, and he tells the story. So here's just one example where Freddie, there he is, is working together with the Z West Zambia Conference. And uh, it's a public crusade. And These we are, are so glad to be part of such outreaches. And then Martin, let's tell them the big story. We have managed to create another entity which is called Verity Center. Uh, Verity is a nice name, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. especially linked to the three angels. Yes, Verity Jesus. means in truth, right? Mm -hmm. In truth. And uh, in the spirit of prophecy, we read that uh, righteousness by faith is the third angel's message in verity. Yeah. And the third angel's message is linked to the right arm mm -hmm. of the gospel. Cannot be severed. No, it so cannot be severed. Otherwise you have a crippled angel, right? Mm. 
And so the spirit of prophecy tells us that if you are involved in evangelism, then you are involved in medical missionary work. You cannot separate the two. The spirit of prophecy says every single member is an ev a medical missionary. And so we decided that basically we have marching orders. Mm -hmm. And so we created an entity called Verity Center where the right arm of the gospel, the medical missionary work, will form an integral part of, clash, of the Clash of Minds ministry. That's it. So Verity Center is that arm of Clash of Minds where medical missionary work becomes a reality and uh, people will be able to be helped. That's it. Now, not only that, it serves as a training center. So at Verity, we want to create a, a school of evangelism with a difference. The aim is to further the three angels' messages, to provide short courses, not courses over months and months and months, but short courses to empower people to understand how the three angels' messages are linked to the end-time events, mm -hmm. what they must achieve in this fallen world, and to empower people to go out and to spread the message. Yes, to take the three angels' messages to the world, to yes. the people. So we are going to start probably early next year, maybe even at the end of this year, if possible, but we are getting there. We want to introduce these short courses and they will be part of the Clash of Minds program. And whatever we do there, we will also broadcast it so that it is available for the whole world and not just for a few people experiencing yeah. it. Everything, all the nitty gritty is still being worked out. That's why we are so, so busy and why we're taking the time to get everything in order. But yeah, we will definitely have uh, broadcasting. Um, there will be also um, sermons and all sorts of uh, yes. things coming out of there. So, so basically, when we talk about the health message, it's the health message from the ground up. Mm -hmm. From the ground up, organic farming, from there to the table, what is healthy and what is not healthy, how should the lifestyle of someone living in these last days be? Well, how should it reflect what the Bible and the spirit of prophecy teach us? And then also the importance of the three angels' messages. And this in a nutshell, in a package that can be done in a relatively short time. The details will still be presented later. So this is what the Lord has enabled us to to find. It is a property where this will take place. And uh, the Lord was good to us. Amazing, uh, amazing how it, it, there are so many miracles involved in setting all of this up. It is as though there is something driving oh, yeah. us. And the Lord is pushing and say, say, is telling us time is short. You better get on with it. Mm -hmm. So here we're trying to get some irrigation into the ground. And it's a beautiful place where we want to create this ambiance. Here was an old farmhouse uh, that we painted and renovated a little bit. And there were many, many helpers that helped us. And we want to thank them all. So this is coming together. And here will be the hub of the Bible school or the school of evangelism and the health center. And the two must be together because you cannot sever the right arm from the body. That's it. So Martin, it's come a long way, right? Yeah, and it's been set, like there you can see, it's set in a beautiful setting. The Lord's been blessing us. Um, because along with the beautiful creation comes healing and also your thoughts can go to your creator. Yes. That's part of the first angel's message. Now, 
One cannot imagine that this is even possible mm. because this property was secured well below market cost, well below, because the original owner had a horse farm here and it was too small for him mm. and he moved and it was basically abandoned. Yeah. And uh, that is why it was possible to get this piece of land very close to where a clash of mines is situated. And uh, we think it is an absolute gift from heaven. So those are some of our plans. Field evangelism, a Bible school or a school of evangelism, a health center, and, and distribution of the material into people's hands that we can get this three angels message and all of this. Because, look, nothing that we've done in the 171 episodes is severed from the three angels message. No, everything is part of the three we, angels message. It's always coming back to that. And that is what the world should know. That is our focus. That is what we are doing. And the more we can do it, the better. Imagine if we can get whole teams working. Imagine if we can evangelize not only Africa, but many parts of the world. Mm -hmm. How far will the imagination go? How powerful is God? What can he do? Let's work together and uh, let's all be part of a team. And may by the power of God, the three angels message be spread throughout the entire region. You know, the Bible and the spirit of prophecy are very, very clear. The Bible says, seek and you will find. The Bible also says, few there are that find it. So, Martin, why don't they find it? Because, because they don't search. seek. Mm -hmm. So the prerequisite of finding is to seek. Mm. But if people don't seek, maybe they need an incentive to want to seek. And this is where the three angels' messages comes in. If you can give an incentive so that people become interested and say, what is going on here? Yeah. And the message must be extraordinary. It can't be an ordinary message. The world is flooded with so much nonsense and people's time is taken up by so much rubbish mm. that it takes an extraordinary effort to get people to want to seek. Yeah. And once they start seeking, then they can find. And God is more than capable and more than able to provide much more than we ever dreamed of. Look what he's doing already yeah. for us. It's amazing. So ask and you shall receive. That's a very, very important requisite. But we ask so little, therefore we receive so little. Mm. So let's think big. Let's say to the Lord, Lord, I don't want to reach a thousand people. I want to reach millions. No, I'm not satisfied with millions. I want to reach billions. We've got almost eight billion people in this world. Well, there eight we billion go. at least there we, we want go. to reach. <laughs> not one less. No. That is our mission. That is what we want to do. And we pray that you will be part of the mission. May God bless you all. See you uh, soon. And see you soon in the next WhatsApp Prof. Thank you. Let's close with prayer. Heavenly Father, all our circumstances that seem daunting are your enablings. And we thank you for everything that you have done for us and for Clash of Minds. And I pray, Lord, that much more will be achieved. We have many thoughts and you have blessed with many means in order to be able to launch these programs. And I pray that there will be a fruit. But I pray that people will be involved and feel part of it and that the message may go out to the entire world. Bless the viewers, bless us, bless the message and may millions Stand on the sea of glass as a consequence is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.